If someone were to think, I am suffering, they would be suffering. But I'm doing all right, so I must be doing all right. So what does I am mean? And why does it sound like Aum? Or Aum, Aum, or... If you listen very carefully to the ambient noise that may or may not be around you, then you'll find that it sounds very much like the sounds A-U-M in one long cacophony. At least it does for me. But hey, I'm just some Hindu guy who happens to have pasty white skin and blonde hair and may or may not have 5% Neanderthal (laughs) genes. That didn't need to be in there. So let's talk about interjecting things that don't need to be in place of where they're at. I read a book. I got a book back recently that I loaned out to somebody. The book is uh, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, which I plugged in the description of one of my previous videos. The Power of Your Subconscious Mind is great. The edition I have has an added book on it, and I'd like to talk about the conception of evil that is mentioned in that particular... Evil is anything that is not where it is supposed to be, which is interesting, and I haven't given it much thought, but it sounds right. So, bear with me for a second, but it it kind of sounds like evil is something that is not where it's supposed to be, and if I have gotten it across to anyone that I think that sin is uh, forcing something, then it kind of adds up. And then we ask the question, what's up? And if I haven't blown your mind yet, then I hope you will subscribe. Because if I did blow your mind, you've probably subscribed by now. Wink, wink. Now, what was I starting the video with? Yeah, all right, so like, comment, and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. We were, we came in, we were talking about uh, suffering, right? Yeah, so you have to consent to being in hell. Uh, I'm a big proponent of reincarnation. I've already mentioned that I'm Hindu in this specific video here. Um, yeah, so... I'm a big proponent of reincarnation. I believe that hell is something that you put yourself through. And, uh... If you're in hell, you're either allowing yourself to be in hell... Or you put yourself in hell through some fault of your own or no fault of your own. Or I, I, I'm just trying to rationalize how the POWs are. I feel bad for the POWs because it's like you got caught. There comes a time where, like, yeah, it's better than just not being dead, because, like, if you're dead, then, you know, you're dead. But, uh, hey, who knows anything about what happens in the afterlife? Certainly not me, or else I'd be the richest man on earth, because I'd be selling what happens after. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, so, nobody knows exactly what happens when we die. There's some people that believe certain things. And there's some people that believe other things. But nobody actually knows. That's the thing. Hold up. There we go. Yeah, nobody knows what happens when we die. I think heaven's a place on earth. With you. Uh, there's a song that goes like that, I'm pretty sure, and there's a song that goes another way, 
which kind of ties into the video. Heaven is a place on earth with you, and heaven is a place on earth for two. Those are two different songs. Or maybe they're the same song. Maybe everything's the same sound. Why do we have physical bodies? I don't know. Why do we have mental spheres? I don't know. I don't know really much of anything. Oh, how to end this video. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I had some mind-blowing revelations for one or two of you. Because every time that subscription count goes up, I jizz my pants a little. But not a lot. And not at all. And I hope the sound's alright. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. Like so other people can see the video. Comment on what you thought was interesting. And subscribe so you can keep seeing my pretty little face. Thanks for watching.